How's it? Indian Cowboy, DocSports.com, finish on Tuesday, April the 25th, as we get this video to you. I want to try to get this video to you as quickly as I can, so you'll have as much time as you can to get in uh, your, our selection here. But uh, your selection is going to be between, uh, I think it's going to be between Oakland and the Angels, which goes off, let's see what time that time goes off here, uh, 9.38, so... And uh, also have two extra leans for you on a couple NBA games, I believe, as well. So, hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports. Um, we had a nice free pick winner yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, on the New York Minnesota under. We also gave you San Francisco, or uh, yeah, we gave you San Francisco and St. Louis under as well, which was a win. And we gave you the A's run line plus the one and a half. That was also a win. So, all three of our thoughts yesterday on the daily video were winners. And uh, we've also had three straight free pick winners, if I'm not mistaken. We gave you on Sunday, we gave you Denver, Minnesota under, and on Saturday, we gave you Kansas City and LA over. So. Hopefully we'll get you a nice uh, free play winner today. Uh, but hello, I'm an Indian Cowboy. Welcome to my podcast. Uh, Indian Cowboy has been around for 19 years. Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. I have a doctor and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. And uh, our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Rune Chiba. Our next best selections is our, if you want double the content, you hop onto our YouTube premium, which we give you three extra selections every single day for just $20 a month, including a live show uh, once a week as well. Um, it's our teaching channel where we kind of teach you how to fish and how to look at ball games more in depth. I will have a live show uh, Wednesday night. Uh, it could be one of our last live shows. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'll be headed abroad uh, to India for a couple weeks. Um, so, but uh, I will be coming back. Uh, obviously, the videos are still going to happen every day, but they're going to come at odd times, right? Because India is about 10, 11 hours ahead. Uh, but uh, they should be. In fact, it might even work out better if the videos come out a little earlier. But uh, yeah, and um, I, you know, for as far as YouTube Premium, I don't know if we'll continue the live show or not. Um, but if we don't, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple days worth of free premium selections on there to more than hook you guys up because I want to get these videos to you earlier if possible. And I think um, that will, you know, not, you know, just focusing on the, just getting the videos to you early could be our, the name of the game. And then adding more content onto the daily video and onto YouTube Premium might be the name of the game. So that way you're not overloaded with content. But uh, free $60 for the premium selections as well in the link below in the comment section. That's uh, on how to get that. And as well as the link to how to get to YouTube premium is in the comment section. If you want even more content, hop on to our Twitter as our consensus reports, our trends on late night ball games, our hot takes on sports, our daily updates, and our free contest. And uh, we had a rare down day yesterday. Uh, we missed our baseball play by a run. Uh, we are 18-7 and seven on the baseball season for plus 5,200. Uh, NBA, uh, down day yesterday as well. 4-1, uh, and 6-2 run in the NBA playoffs. NHL, we did sweep um, on Sunday, 3-0. and oh, And uh, we've had a decent NHL playoffs, but we're trying to bounce back today as well. Uh, as far as, so there's your uh, baseball, there's your NBA. Uh, horse racing, we are profitable in 2023. Uh, NHL, as you know, we're on a 19-11 uh, run. Um, we have a two-unit selection today. Soccer, 12-8 and eight run for a plus 11.45. MMA uh, coming back on April the 29th, and we're stoked about that. And that's about it. All right, let's get to your free play winner today. Um, I like the under eight. Under eight is Oakland and... Well, it's actually under nine now. I'm surprised it's so high as it is, but I like the under nine. Um, I had it rated eight out of 10, so that's why it's a free play, sorry. Uh, but I like the under nine runs here between Oakland and the Angels. Can you imagine only 18% here backing the um, backing Oakland here? And uh, you have a five and 18 team versus an 11 and 12 team hooking up here. A's won 11, 10 yesterday, 27 hits in their last game. Miller and Canning hook up here. Miller had a 4.15 ERA. Canning had a 3.48 ERA. Miller went four innings, four hits, and two runs against the Cubs. His team lost two to 12. First year trying to bounce back here. Um, you know, first, uh, it's obviously the start for him here as he's trying to bounce back here for the A's. Canning had a 5.6 ERA last year, had a nice 3.48 ERA this year, so he is doing better. He did go five innings, four hits, and two runs against the Yankees. Five innings, five hits, and two runs against the Nationals. After 21 hits in their last game, I think this game probably goes under. I don't see the number of hits, you know, being the same this game as it is last game. I think both these pitchers are motivated to pitch well. I actually think the Oakland pitcher, Miller, actually did quite well against the Cubs. It's not, they're not an easy team to face. And I think the A's pitcher did quite well in his first game. And uh, frankly, I don't trust the Angels' offense to come through again. Once again, I don't trust the Oakland A's offense to come through either. After 21 runs were scored in the last game. Therefore, I like the under nine between Oakland and LA as your free play. The Yankees and Twins, that's going to be your YouTube premium selection today. As far as Detroit and Milwaukee, I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to, I like the Tigers plus the two or the plus the one and a half. 
You have an 8 and 13 team versus a 15 and 18 here. We forget that the Tigers sw swept San Francisco. They took 2 of 3 from Cleveland. They just beat Milwaukee 4 to 2. They're a pretty good team. Milwaukee comes in having lost back to back games, as you know, so I hate going against Milwaukee as they come off back to back losses because I, don't, I can't remember the last time the Brewers lost three in a row. It's been a long time. So you have Turnbull and Lauer here. Turnbull has a 7.85 ERA and Lauer has a 4.3 ERA. Turnbull had a 2.88 ERA last year, so he's been struggling. So he's going to regress back to the mean and get back to where he is, which is a much better pitcher than what he's pitching now. And then Turnbull went five innings, three hits, and three runs against Cleveland, five, six, and one against Toronto, and had bad starts against Tampa Bay and Boston. But he did have back-to-back -back decent games. He had three walks in his last game as well, which I like the fact that he'll bounce back. I think there's good value in him. But the Brewers are back-to-back -back losses as well. And uh, Lauer had a 3.69 ERA, went seven innings, four hits, and two runs against Seattle, 6-5-1 and one against San Diego. But he has given up a home run in each of his last four games. And honestly, with the total being 8.5 or 9, and I know the Brewers are heavy favorites here, I like the Tigers here, plus the two. I think you're getting good value here, um, especially if the total is at 9 in, in where you grab it. So 2 out of 9 is you're getting 22% of the game total before it starts, which is fantastic. So I like the Tigers plus the two or the plus the one and a half. Uh, the Royals in Arizona, that is YouTube Premium. Uh, as far as Atlanta and Boston is concerned, um, I like the Hawks here. No Murray could mean an over here too, but it's hard. That's a hard sell these days on the over considering they're 250 points to score last game. So these two teams might play some defense here and the last two have gone over. The Celtics are also up 3-1 and we'll want to close it out here too. But I actually think Atlanta will fight hard today without Murray. They get up 129 points in their last game, which is sort of a season high for them, or at least of late for sure. Murray's eligible on Thursday, and I think Atlanta will know that, and they'll show a lot of pride and try to steal one here in Boston. Trey gets to lead his team once again like he used to before Murray came and Bay came. And I think Atlanta shows some pride. I think, you know, Celtics had to shoot 52% from the field to beat the Hawks last game in a very tight game. I'm glad the Celtics won because I had them as a six-star or a seven-star. But Atlanta's coming through, I think. You know, Atlanta's coming, though. Not this season. I'm a Hawks fan, but they are coming. They got deeper. They are coming. The vibe is good for that team. And I think the Hawks could sneak inside the big number here. Um, so I like the Hawks here. Of course, the Celtics are going to try to close it out. But I think the Hawks, without having Murray, will kind of show up here. Finally, Minnesota and Denver. Uh, that is YouTube Premium as well. You're going to enjoy that. Uh, that's Minnesota and Denver in the NBA. So there you go. That's what we have for you guys. Hope you guys do well. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. Thank you for listening to the podcast. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cab working hard for you every single day. YouTube Premium. I'll see you in five minutes.